with authority. Welcome to another quarantine edition of our With Authority podcast as we socially distance. Although we're, we're getting close to coming out of the lockdown, Larry, Bill, Casey, Pratt, and our, our special guest today is A's outfielder Stephen Piscotti. Uh, A's on the verge of clinching the AL West. It could happen this weekend. It will also be a big weekend for Stephen because he's got a huge charity event that we're going to talk about extensively. Uh, everybody has a chance to participate. You can go online. You could actually drink with Stephen. I'm not sure. Are you going to drink too? Too, or you, you probably you shouldn't admit that. I'll have some wine, you okay, know, responsibly. All right, uh, let's let's talk about this bizarre season to, to get things started here. You you've had games smoked out, uh, you've had games postponed. You're dealing with COVID, and uh, you were telling us before we started a taping here uh, the the saliva tests every other day. Did you ever imagine, or I mean, what's the strangest thing that's happened so far during the course of this year for you? Um, yeah, it's been an incredibly strange year. Um, you know, I think the the saliva testing every other day is uh, definitely the, the biggest change. Um, you know, where you show up to the ballpark and you have to spend about 10 minutes just trying to spit in a cup and fill it to this certain line and do all these different things um, just to get in and, you know, get your routine going. So, um, you know, that's been a little weird. The travel's been a little weird. Um, but now we're about, you know a month and a half into it. We're starting to get the hang of it, uh, but it's it's very foreign. I want to I want to go back to one thing here. Baseball players are almost professional spitters. Okay, how could it take you ten minutes to spit in a cup? <laughs> You'd be surprised. You know, some guys will uh, you know they'll they'll keep the spit in their mouth going into the test. You know, for five ten minutes. It's a little disgusting for me to do. So um, you know, I just I just take my time with it, but. Uh, you're right. You know, we are professional spitters, but uh, we've been told not to. So we're trying to do our best. Yeah, it's, it's it sounds funny that you'd have to have your own technique for doing the saliva test. But <laughs> hey, it's 2020. You know, everything is new, right? This is the new norm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Case. Yeah, I'll make the hard transition here from spitting to drinking. You know, when you do wine tasting, some people do like to swish it around and then spit it out, clean the palate. You're doing an amazing event. I know that you've probably had this day circled on your calendar, not only because it's the Bay Ridge series, but because you're really launching this, this charity event where you can buy beer, a flight of beer, and then pick it up and taste it together. Next day it's wine, and I think it's also wine on Sunday. There's all kinds of amazing auction items up for grabs there. The link is in our Facebook page right now. So uh, tell me a little bit about like how much work has gone into this, and I already can imagine how crazy things are with the season. So uh, you've been a really a big champion for this cause. Yeah, I'm trying to do all I can to, you know, promote and, um, you know, get people excited about it. You know, my dad um, is, you know, the founder of our foundation and um, has worked really hard the entire year um, trying to raise money for, um, you know, our foundation. And, um, you know, with, with COVID, we had to cancel a few events. We had a, a golf tournament and a gala that um, just couldn't go on, um, obviously, with, with the, the current times. So, um, you know, we pivoted and, you know, we have a tremendous board that came up with this idea. It's been used a few times and, and you know, there's been some success with it. So we, we figured we'd give it a try. But yeah, it's a, a beer, wine and, and whiskey tasting. It goes the entire weekend um, after the each game. So uh, I'll be I'll be uh, partaking on, on Saturday with the wine. And um, yeah, everyone that uh, participates, purchase the, the, the package, pick it up and then hop on a Zoom call basically and uh, walk through it with um, some pretty uh, cool uh, and entertaining guests so it should be good now i know that we like to hype up this rivalry a's giants and i mean i grew up in the barrier like you did and it, you know i really like seeing the a's win these games but um <laughs> when you look at what's happened i'm checking out your auction site and it's like a who's who of a's and giants it seems both teams have really bought into this so behind the rivalry there's a big unity going on right yeah absolutely um we've got a tremendous amount of support from the giants um especially Brandon Crawford. He's run a golf tournament down in Arizona in spring training, and they've um, been uh, you know, passing the funds our way to, to help our cause. So very appreciative of his whole family and all they've done. But the Giants have also um, you know, worked really hard. And um, like you said, there's some cool items from, from both teams. We're not trying to leave anyone out. You know, we are a Bay Area, try to stay together as a unit. So um, you know, that's been fun. And, and part of the reason why we're, we're doing that um, or we're doing it over this uh, this weekend with the, with the Bay Bridge series. So the title of the event, it's called the ALS Cure Project. And, and maybe we can get into a little bit uh, about 
your background with your mom. I lost my mom at an early age also. And, uh, you know, to be honest, it's, it's been decades and I'm still messed up to this day over it. So mm-hmm. it, it's pressure for you with, with your mom, Gretchen, only a couple of years ago. What goes through your mind when you're thinking about planning this event? Because I'm just putting myself in your shoes. You are, you're emotionally attached. You are. And so, but you also have to run an event as though you're a little detached because you got a lot of stuff to get organized. I know your dad is handling a lot of that, but just all the emotions that go through, because this is, this is not just, you know, okay, we're going to donate some money to a cause and then, okay, now I've got a game. This is, you're living this. This is your day to day. Right. Yeah. It's uh, obviously um, an emotional thing. There's, there's no denying that. Um, But you know, that's part of it. And um, you know, I think, you know, my mom, um, frankly, you know, suffered for, for um, you know, quite a while, and it was really hard to watch. And, and one thing that um, you know, she kind of said was, do, do what you can so that no one else has to suffer like this. And so we're trying to, you know, carry that, uh, you know, that torch and, and um, do all that we can. You know, it, it, unfortunately, we can't solve it overnight, and it's going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication. And, um, you know, that's that's the reality of it, but we're, we're up for that challenge. So, um, you know, we've been working hard and trying to do some fun things, right. To, to make it, um, you know, not, uh, not too much of a downer. Obviously it's an, an emotional and, and a bit of a sad, um, you know, topic, but we're trying to, you know, have some, you know, positive, uh, spins on it. And so, um, feel like we've done that um, pretty well and hopefully we uh, can continue to. Yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering this because, Obviously, uh, we're talking about memorabilia items and uh, the 49ers because of the passing of Dwight Clark, also of ALS. Do you guys have any synergy working there? Um, we're trying to. Um, we're trying to. We're, we're trying to reach out to, to all the, the Bay Area teams. And um, uh, my dad attended um, Dwight Clark's uh, funeral and, and met some people there that um, hopefully can help us uh, in, in our mission. Um, you know, there's a lot of different organizations working on this. Um, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who, who does it. We just want to you know, do everything we can to, to, uh, you know, move the needle in the right direction. So, um, you know, we've gotten, like I said, great, you know, help from, um, the, the giants, the warriors have, have been in there a little bit helping us. So, um, it's, it's great to see kind of a cohesive Bay area unit uh, working on it. Now I'm looking at your career here and you actually just recently in the last series hit a grand slam against the Giants, but your first career grand slam came off Max Scherzer, which is also a pretty big feather in your cap. Which one was more satisfying, the one against the Giants or your first? Um, well, those are, that's a good question. Uh, I, I think the first one was extra special, um, just being that it was the first one. Obviously, you know, Max Scherzer is you know, probably a Hall of Famer, so, you know, that, that was a big one. Um, the Giants one, though – and those are those are neck and neck. That one, that one was special. Just trying to uh, you know get the team back, and we had a, a big rally there. And that's something that we, we do really well as a team. Is even when we're down, we're going to find a way to to at least scare you, or, or maybe find our way to to crawl all the way back. And we did. So that one was was also special. So yeah, they're they're right next to each other. Now I know you grew up an A's fan. I grew up an A's fan too. I can't even imagine how satisfying it would be to be connecting on a grand slam in that series. And the way you guys won those games were obviously. Uh, Really uplifting for you and deflating for them. So, what was that kind of mood swing like in that series? Yeah, there was some uh, some momentum swings for sure uh, going on in that one, and you, you kind of expect that in rivalry games. Um, you know, I think especially when teams get down, they're going to try to find a way to to, to get back in it. Um, you know, it's a it's a lesson for for all of us playing the game. You know, you got to lead. You got to you know keep the the pedal to the metal and, and keep going. Um, but I'm sure you know they're they're going to come out you know this series swinging and. You know, they're playing great baseball, so um, it should be a good series coming up here. As Casey mentioned, you grew up in the East Bay, went to Amador Valley High, um, Pleasanton native, then went to Stanford, so obviously kind of the brainy bunch, uh, you know, in, in the clubhouse. Uh, Casey and I were talking beforehand about your major, atmospheric and energy engineering. So what's crazy is I went to the University of Hawaii. We have the same major. Yeah. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> you got me. No. I, are you kidding? I, I, I put makeup on for a living. I, I mean, so drop a little atmospheric and energy engineering knowledge on us, something that would 
you know, sound good while we were wine tasting that we would go, whoa, this biscotti guy is brilliant. Oh, man. Um, yeah, so I studied that. It's all about, you know, green energy. So um, I could talk your ear off about some solar panels and, and wind farms and that sort of stuff. Uh, anything that's clean and green is kind of right up my alley and um, stuff to, I don't know, it gets my interest. I think it's a pretty, you know, potent or, you know, it's a, it's a topic out there today. So it's, uh, you can have quite a bit of discussion about it. But I find it to be pretty fascinating to, you know, power things from, from uh, the sun. I don't know. It's just, it's really interesting. It was a, it was so you were destined, for- you were destined to be wearing green and gold then if it's all about green, right? I mean, that's, you know. Obvious. Very fitting. Very fitting. Uh, hey, wait, when are solar panel costs going to come down, Stephen? I mean, because right now we're kind of a, uh, we, I just put some on my house and, you know, it's a 25 year lease and we're not at the point where it's like, oh, this is, this is, we got to do this. It's sort of, eh, how long are you going to be in there? You know, that sort of thing. They're, they're coming down every year. I can guarantee, guarantee you that. So um, I don't know if uh, waiting is the best option, but um It'll be, it'll become more and more affordable, I'm sure. Okay, thank you. <laughs> brought to, to you, it. brought to you by Sunrun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll try to make another hard transition from power to, I guess, powering your way to. You have the magic number of three right now, and you can clinch it right here at home against the Giants. So I would imagine that that's a very special opportunity as a Bay Area guy. Yeah, I mean, we're we've been working hard, you know, all year. We wanted to win this division, and we're we're knocking on the door. Um, doesn't matter if it's against the Giants, not necessarily, but, um, you know, the, these games are going to be, you know, high intensity, um, knowing where we are, um, being it that is a, a rivalry series. So, um, you know, it's going to be some good baseball and, and we're ready to roll. We had an off day yesterday after a, a tough stretch, so we're going to be fresh and, and ready to go. So um, it, it should be a lot of fun. We got our eyes on that division. We, we want to bring it home to open. How weird was it having an off day? I mean, I think you guys played 16 games in 13 days. So uh, this this season, I mean, compared to a full season, has got to be maybe even more of a grind than the, the long haul usually is, right? Yeah. You know, we had a team meeting a while back, and, and you know, with some of the stuff that we've you know dealt with throughout this season, um, while it's only been 60 games, it, it, it's felt like a full season. Um, you know, when we weren't playing, we were still, you know, getting ready and, and preparing. Um keeping that switch on, so to speak, we were, we were, uh, you know, not taking days off. So um, now we're, we're at the end of it and, and coming in you know, to a postseason, hopefully. So, um, you know, it's, it's been a long year, but, you know, it, it's, it's good to kind of catch your breath on those off days. we got another one on Monday um, and that should get us right for the, the rest of the way. Are you ready mentally, physically for bubble life? Because the playoffs will be in, one of several bubbles that Major League Baseball is putting together, a la the NBA, which has worked really well. Yeah, um, I, I think we know the importance of it. Um, you know, for keeping you know the integrity of, of the game. Um, you know, we've we've kind of had a little bit of it on the road when we when we travel. We're we're not allowed to leave the hotel and do certain things. So we we've gotten to a little bit of a taste of what it's like when we're on the road. Um, and even when you know we're playing here, we'll be in a hotel. So um, it's, it's going to be a bit of an adjustment, but we have had a little taste of it. So, uh, hopefully it's, it's not too crazy. Um, but obviously we want to keep the game going and, and not have any outbreaks. So that'll be yeah. of the utmost importance. Hey, and you hope you're in the bubble as long as you possibly can be, because that means you're in the world That's series, right? Thing. Yeah. I, I want to, before we go, I want to ask you about one particular game and I'm going to give you the date. Um, and I'm wondering if you know exactly what I'm referring to. Okay. April 4, 2017. Okay, I'll give it to you then. Because you, you played with the Cardinals, came up with the Cardinals. Cardinals Cubs, you got hit by the ball three times in one inning. So you're at the plate, you get hit by the pitch, kind of grazes your elbow. Then as a base runner, you're heading to second, and they throw down and you get hit in the back, I think, and then later in the inning, you're trying to score, and the related throw to the plate hits you in the head, and then they check you for a concussion, all of that. That is, when I saw the, like, the article, I was like, this is, the, this, is not, this is not possible. Yeah, yeah, it was incredible. Uh, it was hard to believe, and then obviously I got hit in the head at the end. I didn't know where, 
where I was for, for a split second there. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know how to explain that. That was just a, a crazy freak uh, incident. And uh, it definitely got um, some views on YouTube and some, some spoofs. I think even uh, uh, Jimmy Kimmel ran a little bit on it. It was, uh, it was pretty funny. And you know, I wasn't hurt that, that seriously, so I was able to, to laugh about it. Um, but yeah, I couldn't believe that. and Not many other people could. Have you ever seen that happen in any level of baseball? Not, not in one inning. I've seen guys get drilled a couple times and, and whatnot or get bean and then on the steel also get hit, but not coming home and then take one in the, in the helmet there. Uh, yeah, that was pretty unique. Yeah, that looked nasty, actually. That, that, looked, that, that was going to leave a mark uh, for a while. All right, I know you've got to, to prep for a game, so let's, let's hit this hard one more time. ALS Cure Project, if people want to get involved and – uh, drink a little whiskey, drink a little wine, drink a little beer. That's what Casey does every weekend, pretty much yeah, all the true. way. I mean, this is it. whether you're having an event or not, that's what he does. So mm -hmm. how, how, would, how would we get involved if we want to drink with Stephen Piscotti for a great cause? Yes, you can go online, ALS Cure Project. Um, I'm sure you'll find the link. And um, you know, there, we're going to run an event um, tonight, actually, after or before the game. And then uh, I'll be on tomorrow, Saturday. But you go online and there will be places where you can pick up um, whichever package. And then um, all the instructions to the, uh, the Zoom links and, and all that sort of stuff will be uh, available. And, yeah, you should just uh, relax and enjoy. And hopefully there's some good content on there to, to uh, uh, enjoy with the, whatever you're drinking. Or if you're doing all three, you don't drink it at all. So Yeah. Yeah, ALS Cure dot net slash ALS Bay. Have a few drinks, then check out the items you can bid on. Yeah, what's what's the best true. what's the best item that Casey as I always joke with him that you know he wears green and gold underwear every yeah. day. So <laughs> what's the best item that you would have up for grabs that Casey in particular would want to bid on? I think uh, Matt Chapman signed and game used uh, baseball bat. He was kind enough to to give one to us. So um, I would, I would imagine that's going to be a, uh, a fan favorite. That's pretty good. Oh man, I feel so bad for Chappie with his injury. That's, that's yeah. rough. Tough one. But, uh, yeah. We need him back next year and he'll be sore. He'll be uh, supporting us all the way uh, this year. So, yeah. It'll be, a tough right. one. It'll be all right. Steven, we really appreciate your time. Best of luck with your event. Please, please come back like yeah. in the playoffs and and we can do this again because obviously yeah. everybody in the bay area knows you and wants to help so we would love to have you on if, if you would be gracious enough with your time later on down the road absolutely that'd be awesome all yeah. right stephen piscotti the als cure project good luck and have a great weekend against the giants all right thank you guys with authority